I've had all the generations of PlayStation consoles from the PlayStation 2 up to the new PlayStation 5 and I've never really thought about upgrading or adding on an external hard drive and I think it's a really good idea if you haven't done so yet. And I recently just picked up a five terabyte external hard drive for my PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I wanted to show you guys how to set everything up because it wasn't as easy as I thought, but once I figured it out, it was easy. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to hook up the external hard drive and use it for your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So the new PlayStation 5, the hard drive that they give you is only 825 gigabytes which really isn't that much especially when you are going to be downloading games and there are tons of updates that come in games that just add up and takes a lot of space so an external hard drive is a good cheaper option to add storage onto your system unfortunately you can only play playstation 4 games directly from the external hard drive but there are a lot of good PlayStation 4 games that you can play. You shouldn't see a performance decrease because you are using an external hard drive, which is good. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is format it to an XFAT file, so that way you can put the games onto the hard drive. So when you first plug it in, most likely it's gonna give you an error message saying that you that it's not recognizing the hard drive. So you're gonna wanna go into your settings and you're gonna go into storage and you're gonna find where it says external hard drive or USB and you're gonna go down and click on it and it's gonna give you an option on the PlayStation 5. It's gonna give you three dots. You're gonna click on the dot and then it's gonna just pop up saying format to XFAT file and you're gonna click on that and it's gonna automatically do it for you. And on the PlayStation 4, it's very similar. You're still gonna go in storage and you're gonna look and hit the option button and it should pop up to say format as XFAT file. And you are good to go to use it on both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 from there. So when picking out a new external hard drive, there are two options that you can choose from. One is older, it's the HDD hard drive and the new SSD which is a little bit better and faster. You can get each one, but the PlayStation will only hold or only accept up to eight terabytes, which is plenty. I think anywhere between two and five terabytes is a good option because you wanna make sure you can use this for a few years or hopefully the life of the console. If you get a cheaper hard drive, which has less space, you might need to buy a second hard drive. So I would recommend starting anywhere from two to five terabytes. If you can afford it, get the SSD, but if not, the HDD is a fine option. When you're done formatting, you can start downloading the games that you want to download onto the hard drive itself. You can go into your library section in the PlayStation menu all the way over to the right it should say my library you can just choose the games that you want to download so you click on it, my library and I have Nathan Strake's collection so I just go down click on, hit X on it and it pops up download you click download and because you have it hooked up to external storage it will automatically go to the external storage on your new hard drive If your console is already out of room and you want to take the, the games that are downloaded directly on the console to the external hard drive, you're going to want to go into your storage option in the settings. You're going to go down to not your hard drive, but you're going to go over to your console and then it will say applications. You're going to click on the applications. It will show all the games and applications that you have downloaded on your system. You're just gonna hit option and there's gonna be squares on the left side and you're just gonna wanna click X on the game that you want. You can click on multiple 
and you're just gonna click move and it will automatically move to your hard drive and external storage. If you wanna check out the hard drive that I recently just picked up, it's a five terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. I will put it down in the description below and have fun gaming.